everybody welcome to class today today is going to be a quick 30 minute forward folding and twisting strength building class so we do a lot of plank work and then obviously a lot of twists in standing there is some options for arm balances which i don't demonstrate because i got really sweaty today um, there's some opportunities for handstand um, but really this the idea of this class is just to get you up and moving we do a really quick cool down um, and we get into the practice straight away so if you need to do a little bit of a warm-up at the start and then take a cool down at the end please absolutely do that um, if you need to if you enjoy these classes please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend and i think that's it um, we are going to get started today in a high plank pose. Start in a high plank pose, bring the hands underneath the shoulders or slightly in front. Engage through the legs, send energy back through the tailbone and the crown of the head. Drop the lower belly without tucking your tailbone under, nice neutral spine. Take several more breaths here. Keep drawing the lats down, pulling the shoulder blades away from the ears. Maybe take a little shake, yes and no, of the head, releasing any tension in through the neck, making sure that the face isn't falling down towards the floor. We're gonna take four more big cycles of breath here. See if on your inhales, you can allow the rib cage to expand. And then as you exhale, draw energy all the way up the inner thigh line through the pelvic floor, lower belly, knit that rib cage together. Three more breaths here. From here, you're gonna to start to drop the right knee down towards the floor and then lift it. Take the left knee down. Lift the left knee, take the right knee down and then switch. So it's like we're just walking in place in your plank. Nothing changes in your torso. And then you're gonna keep this little walk of your legs. You're gonna to start to take the hips up and back nice and slowly, making your way into your downward facing dog. And then once you arrive here, you can keep pedaling out the feet or you can come to a static hold, sending the hips high, reaching the heels down. We're only here for a breath or two. On your next inhale, keep your downward dog. Your elbows are facing towards the back of the room. You're going to drop your elbows down to the floor at the same time if you can. And then as you exhale, engage your triceps, come into your downward dog. Inhale, lower the forearms, dolphin. And then as you exhale, press into downward dog. We've got three more here. One more time, we're going to drop those elbows down, take an inhale. Listen carefully. As you exhale, you're going to push through to chaturanga. So you're going to start to shift the body forward, peel the elbows off chest comes in line with the upper arms. Inhale, press into your plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, you're going to shift forward, chaturanga. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, dolphin. Exhale, press forward, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dolphin. Shift forward, inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank. Inhale, dolphin. We've got two more here. Exhale, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dolphin. Last one here. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank. This time as you inhale, downward facing dog. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, sweep the right leg up, engage the back of the leg. Exhale, shift forward, round out through the spine, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, round out, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, round out, knee to nose. Hold. And then step that right leg forward. Make sure your feet aren't on a tight rope. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, keep the torso low. Send the hands back into your power lunge. Keep engaging through the belly. See if you can lift your torso up off your thigh. 
send energy through the back heel and the crown of the head just like you would in plank pose. You can stay here or make your life harder. Reach those arms out in front of you, energy out through the fingertips. Three more breaths. Take the hands down, float that right leg back, single leg plank, lower down, single leg chaturanga. Lift back up, plank pose, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga. One more plank pose, set the right foot down. Inhale, downward dog, take an exhale here. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, round forward, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, round forward, knee to nose. Step that left foot through. Come up onto the fingertips, position your feet, and then sweep those arms back, coming into your power lunge. Option to stay here or sweep those arms forward. Take four more breaths. Take the hands down, float the left leg back, single leg plank, lower down, chaturanga, plank. Two more. Take it up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Surya A, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Option to come to a back bend, otherwise inhale straight back to plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. You choose your transition there. Bend the knees, step walk or foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Two more rounds. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Foot to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink the hips back. Feet can be apart or together. Make sure your knees track in line with the second and third toes. Sink your hips back, bring your chest forward. Keep a neutral spine so you don't have to be super rigid through your spine. The more you sink your hips back, the lower you can get your chest and you can keep that nice natural curve and through your lower back. We're gonna hold here for three more breaths. I realize there's a ladder up the palm tree in front of me, that's kind of cool. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, forward fold, Surya B, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga, take your vinyasa. Step the right leg forward, keep the back heel lifted as you inhale, raise up, crescent lunge. Square off as much as you can through the hips, neutralize through the spine, the tailbone drops towards the floor, you're not tucking it under. You're gently drawing the rib cage towards the pelvis, 
but allowing those inhales to expand and those exhales to draw everything to center. Make sure you can see your front big toe, engage your right glute, take two more breaths. Take the hands down, float the right leg back, option single leg vinyasa. Step the left leg forward, come up crescent lunge, set up your alignment points, settle in. Take one more breath. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, take a down option to keep that left leg floating. Look to the top, step, walk or float. We'll float three, four times. Inhale, leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale your vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. You can always add on a crow anywhere here if you like. Exhale, descend. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Maybe you're adding a crow. Inhale, length. I'm too sweaty. Exhale. Take it through your vinyasa. Step your right leg. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa. Step your left leg, inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand. Two more rounds. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand. One more round, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Left leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Look to the top. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Listen carefully as you exhale, sweep the right arm back. Left arm stays forward. Make sure the knees stay even. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left arm sweeps back. Inhale, chair. Four more each side. Make sure that those knees aren't shifting out of alignment with each other. One more each side. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, float the right leg up. Inhale to prepare. 
As you exhale, you're not going to round your spine. You're just going to take the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, back to a single leg plank. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, single leg plank. Nice and slow, we've got three more. This time you're gonna hold it at the left elbow. Inhale to the wrist, exhale to the elbow. Inhale to the wrist, exhale to the elbow, three more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right leg through. Keep the left hand down. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, open twist. As you exhale, you're going to thread it under. See if you can reach the right hand towards the left knee. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, thread it under. Just one more here. Inhale. Exhale, thread it under. As you inhale, keep that open twist. Make sure your feet aren't on a tight rope. As you exhale, engage that front leg. Lift yourself up, revolving crescent. Keep those shoulders stacked on top of the, excuse me, on top of the hips. And keep twisting from the rib cage. So what you'll notice is if you're really honest, like if I'm really honest, my left arm is not facing forward if I keep it in line with my shoulders, and that's fine. You want to think of twisting from the rib cage and not just from the shoulders. That's where the true rotation comes from. Take two more breaths. You're gonna keep this twist, bring that left hand down, take an inhale, prepare. As you exhale, you're stepping back, side plank pose on the left hand side. Inhale, reach that right arm up. You can stagger the feet here if you need. As you exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, thread the needle. You've got three more here. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Shift it back into your high plank pose, take an inhale. Exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale here to prepare. The spine stays neutral as you exhale. There's a slight rotation at the hips as you take that left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, neutralize back to your single leg plank. Exhale, take the twist. Inhale, single leg plank. Three more here. Last one, we hold. Inhale to the wrist, exhale to the elbow. Inhale, wrist, exhale, elbow. Three more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left leg through. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. As you exhale, take it under, see if you can tap the right knee. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, take it under. Just one more. Open up into your simple twist as you inhale. And then as you exhale, pick yourself all the way up, revolving crescent. Settle in for a good five breaths. Take one more breath here. Keep your twist, take your right hand down, inhale. As you exhale, you're coming around into your side plank. Take an inhale, sweep that whoopsie, left arm up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna thread it all the way underneath the right. Inhale, take it up. Four more here. Inhale, take it up. As you exhale, take it through, vinyasa. 
in your downward facing dog, take your right hand, reach it towards your left ankle, draw the right elbow off to the right, look out underneath the left armpit, take an inhale, exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Come back to your downward dog, take your left hand, reach for the right ankle, draw the left elbow off to the left, take an inhale, exhale, twist it under. Downward facing dog, look towards the top of your mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. As you exhale, come to skiers pose. Your torso will come parallel with the mat. You're going to shoot your arms back and you're squatting really, really low into your legs. Almost as if you could rest your torso on your legs. Maybe you can. Option to stay here, option to add a balance challenge come up onto the tippy toes, keep the shoulders out of the neck, engage through the triceps, take three more breaths. Drop the heels, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, vinyasa. Step the right leg forward, take an inhale. As you exhale, come up, power lunge, sweep those arms forward, take an inhale here. As you exhale, engage through the right leg, come up, warrior three. Option to float those arms back. Good idea to take the hands to the hips at first to see if you can neutralize through your pelvis. Take a bit of a bend in through the right knee and lift your limbs as high as you can. From here, you're gonna take your hands down, standing splits. Option to stay here, or if you've practiced with me before, you know that this is a great time to work on your handstands. You could, of course, take any arm balance here. I'm always on such an uneven surface. Ay, ay, ay. You're gonna take two more breaths wherever you're at. The joys of practicing in nature. If you came up, you're gonna float that left leg down. Everybody make your way to a vinyasa onto downward dog. Set the left leg forward, take an inhale. As you exhale, come up into your power lunge. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, bring it up, warrior three. Take one more breath. Take it down, standing splits, or practice your handstands. I just don't have it today. When you're ready, make your way through Vinyasa. Some days we have it, some days we don't. Look to the top, step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right elbow outside of left knee. Make sure your knees stay even. Open up through the chest. If the twist is too much, you can bring your elbow in between your knees or you could just bring your hand down to the floor and take an open twist. Option to stay here, option to come down to side crow. I'm not going there today, I'm way too sweaty. But you could crouch down towards your heels, plant your hands hips distance apart, shoulder distance apart, and bring the back of the left leg to rest on the back of the right tricep. Inhale, come back through your chair. 
exhale straight to the other side. Once again, option to stay in your chair or feel free to go into an arm balance. Two more breaths. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, you're going to straighten the front leg. Extend a pyramid. You could hop that back foot in so it's more like a warrior one leg or a triangle leg. You're going to plant the left hand underneath the left shoulder or to the outside of the right foot. Keep the sacrum as even as you can as you open through the rib cage, twisted triangle or twisted pyramid. Look down and forward, you're going to take that left hand forward, maybe to a block. We're coming into twisted half moon. Once again, you're trying to keep your lower body as even as you can. See so if you can twist through the torso, lengthen through the spine, and then start to twist. From here, you're going to release the hands down. Option to take it straight back through vinyasa. Option to try some more handstands, which is what I'm going to do. Option to try a headstand or any other arm balance you're working with at the moment. You can be as yogi as you want, but when you can't get stuck, it is frustrating. Let's all be honest. You're going to step your left leg forward when you're ready. And as you inhale, straighten it out, come to extend a pyramid. Option to take twisted triangle or option to stick with twisted pyramid. One more breath here. Look forward, take that right hand forward, reestablish that neutral length in your spine, and then start to twist the left side of the rib cage up towards the sky. Maybe take the hand up. And come back through your standing splits option to go straight through a vinyasa hold your standing splits or one more opportunity to play with getting upside down more breaths wherever you're at. And when you're ready, you can always feel free to keep playing. Otherwise, take it through vinyasa. Look to the top of the mat, step, walk or float through to boat pose, navasana. Oh, I should not have eaten before doing a twisting class. That was a bad idea. Ooh, you live and you learn. Bring your palms together. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to row the boat over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale. So I'm making like a little figure eight almost with my hands as I row from left to right. Exhaling as I twist. Inhaling through the center. You have the option to stay here. Otherwise, 
As you twist to the right, you're going to extend the left foot towards the floor. Inhale it through center. Exhale, twist left. Right leg extends. Inhale through center. Keep going wherever you're at. Four more each side. Inhale in your boat pose. Exhale, slowly lower it all the way down. Option to keep your feet on the floor and keep a neutral spine here. Otherwise, you can float the legs up into tabletop and try and flatten the lower back into the floor. Take an inhale, let everything expand. As you exhale, everybody draw up through your center line, slide the rib cage towards the pelvis. Head is heavy as you come up into a curl. Inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to go left shoulder towards the right knee. The right knee doesn't come towards you. You're drawing the shoulder towards the knee. Or think of drawing the left rib cage towards the right hip. Inhale through center. Exhale, take it to the other side. Option to extend the opposite leg. Option to keep it on the floor or in tabletop. Inhale, bring it through center. Exhale to twist. Inhale through center. Exhale to twist. Inhale through center. I just realized that I might be behind the plants in this camera angle, but that's okay. I'm sure that you know what I'm doing. We're doing bicycles. We're going to take three more to each side. That head is really relaxed. It's the movement of the rib cage sliding towards the opposite side of the pelvis that is bringing the crunch. One more each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower it down. From here, you're going to take your favorite spinal twist. So you could stay on your back and just let your legs fall from side to side. Maybe you keep it in motion. Maybe you hold it one side to the other. Maybe you take a bind. Or you could come to sitting and take Adamatsi Andrasana or a simple seated twist. You can take a few breaths on each side. I'll let you switch when you're ready. You feel even on both sides, you're going to come back to center. You're going to plant the feet about hips distance apart, and we're just going to come into an easy bridge pose. You could take a block underneath your pelvis here and come into a supported bridge. If you wanted to, you could wiggle the shoulder blades underneath you, catch a bind in the hands, and open up through the chest. Neck is nice and relaxed, collarbones are wide. When you're ready, you can stay in supported bridge if that's where you're at and that's where you want to finish. Otherwise, bring yourself down. You could come into Shavasana, you could come in Supta Baddha Konasana. Maybe you send your legs up the wall or come to a seat, wherever is good for you. Let the palms fall up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And a big open mouth exhale. Please stay here for as long as you have time for today. Thank you so much for practicing with me as always. Today, as you go forward, may you have kindness in your thoughts, kindness in your words, and kindness in your heart. Namaste. Mm -hmm.